to start with the end in mind. This is the actual peace sign that I want us to draw here in class using AutoCAD. Now, currently I'm using AutoCAD version 2018, student version. Uh, 2019 will work, 2020 will work. It's basically all the same simple commands to build this peace sign. So let's get started. We're going to build one that looks just like this, and here we go. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to create a new file by clicking on this icon in the upper left, New. So click on that. It'll default to the AutoCAD default template. Go ahead and hit OK, and we'll open that up. Now, let's see how we can do this. Now, you've got the uh, circle command up here on the ribbon, or if you can, key in the C command uh, with your keyboard, and it'll go ahead and prompt that circle. Now, you've got specify center point for circle, or three point, two point, or TTR, which is tangent, tangent, radius. We're just going to go ahead and select a point right here. And then it says uh, key in a radius of the circle. Well, I'm going to click on diameter, and I'm going to key in a distance on that diameter of 1.75. OK? And there's my rad radius right there of a circle at 1.75. I'm going to use my middle mouse button, the rolling button, and I'm going to hold it down and pan over. Then I'm going to use that middle mouse button and just roll up on that and check it out. Now, let's do a DI, which stands for distance, and let's measure that, make sure we did it correctly. Now, this green thing that pops up is a handle, or a snap handle, where you can come across and measure it. Now, as soon as I click on this side here, you're going to see the dimension in the x-axis, and it'll quickly fade away. So right now, it says it's 1.75 down here in the delta x. There it goes, fades away. That's perfect. That's what we want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do an offset line off this circle to the interior, and we're going to do it for 3 16 which is 0.1875. So we come up here and we can select off the ribbon offset, or we can key in OFF. Either way. Now we've got the offset. It says specify the offset distance, 0.1875 is our distance. And now it says select an object to offset. So I'll click on this. If I go out this way, it goes to the outside. If I go this way, it goes to the inside. I'm going to go to the inside. So now I've got that in there. And you can see the circle. Looks nice. And now we want to go ahead and we want to draw the two crow's feet, or excuse me, the crow's feet that goes down the middle of the peace sign. So I'll hit the L command, which, uh, oops, get out of this first. Now I hit the escape key to get out. I can hit the line command here, and I can go to snap on one of these handles and come down and snap there. Hit escape from that, and let's do another offset. This time we're going to turn our calculator on. And I'll clear this out. In fact, I was just using that. 0.1875 divided by 2 equals 0 .93, 0 0.09375. I'm going to hold my mouse over that number and hit copy. Then go back here and select up here on the ribbon. And now I'm going to do an offset again. Click on this. Oops, excuse me. We'll do that again. Click on this. Uh, it says specify a distance. So I'm going to click down here in this field and do a control V and paste that in there. So you see down there, I got a point zero nine three seven five. I'll hit enter. And now it says select an object to offset. So I'll click on this, go over here to this side, click on it again, go to that side. Looks pretty cool. Now let's check our global uh, let's, let's check our, our our polar tracking, sorry. And we hit this pull down. I went ahead and set from 90 to 45, 91, 35, 80. And that's the 45 degree increments that I can rotate or draw lines in. So that looks good. Hit escape on that. And I'll come up here and hit the line command. Or I can see an L for line. And it's to select the first point. So I'll find the center of my circle, which is also the midpoint of that line. And if I come off at an angle, you see that green line show up? Come down here, and there's the 45. I'll come down and select on that. Hit escape. Come over here, hit the L command again, or I could hit spacebar, and it'll recall that command. And there it is again. Okay. So now we'll hit OFF for offset, and it pops right up. And again, we're still set based on our last key in a point zero nine three seven five. But since we only have four decimal places, it it uh, averages up to point zero nine three eight. That's all right. Click on this. Oops. Go ahead and follow our instructions here. Let's do that again. Hit my space bar. Uh, it says best find offset distance. I'm going to hit enter with my space bar. Click on this line. Go above it. There's one. Click on it. Go there. It's another one. Come across the other side. Same thing. 
from up here. It's, whoops, put that up there here. There we go. Now, so I've got all my circles in. I want to make sure that I did not copy that one line several times on top of each other. I'm going to hit my delete key. Whoops, get out of that. Hit that. Hit my delete key. Yeah, I did actually copy, I think, a couple times over. Hit that delete key. That's fine. Now, I'll go back to offset. Hit this time off the ribbon. Hit space bar. Click on this. Pull down. Good. All right. Now, we want to select all of this. Now, if I come on this side and click one time, step out of that, click one time and go up this way, you see how the selection box is blue? Well, if I click on it, I didn't get anything. But if I go over here on this side and click on the right side and go up to the left and click again, I got everything. So if you go from the right to select, you get everything. If you go from the left, you only get specific things. Okay? So now what we want to do, first of all, I'm going to hit escape again, get out of that. I'm going to get rid of these center lines. I don't need those anymore. Get that out of there, get that out of there. Good. Also for selecting, I can do a control A and I can get it all. That works just as well. Now I want to trim these lines up around here. So I'm going to come up here to my ribbon and there's the trim command. Well, if I don't want to get it off the ribbon, the key in TR, there's trim. Excellent. So now I'm going to zoom up on this, and as I move my mouse around these blue lines that I selected, I can click on it. And notice how it's basically pruning or cutting these out that I don't need. It's perfect. Just what I need. Okay, good. Get rid of that. This. This. Come down here. Get rid of this. Use my pan command with my middle, middle mouse rolling button. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now there's some little bitty lines down there. We need to take care of that. We need to get rid of those as well. Get rid of him. Him. Hit my Z key, zoom, hit extents, hit, uh, whoops, still in the trim command. It's all right. We'll get rid of, just go ahead and zoom out again. Z to zoom out, E for extents, and we'll go out that way. Do a control A again, go back and key in TR for trim, and let's just keep going. Come up here, pan up, trim that guy out, trim him out, him out him out, pan over, looks good, zoom out, now let's come up here, clean this up, get that out, uh, get rid of that little guy right there, little guy right there, okay, so we got all that out, hit escape, uh, get rid of the X command, let's go to Z to zoom out, go to extents, there it is, and roll out a little bit, okay, we got our piece on coming into place pretty good, now let's go ahead and put our eyelet hole up here at the top. Again, circle command. Uh, we're going to come up here and select on this grip right here. I'm going to come off here, and I'm going to give it a size of 0.25 as a radius. Let's see how big that is. Ah, that's pretty big. Let's do a control Z. We're going to do this again. Hit the circle command. Click on the handle. Come up key in 0.1875 for 3 sixteenths of an inch. Hit enter. Ah, like that better. Then I'll roll up here on this. And we'll hit the circle command again. Actually, watch this. Hit my space bar, it goes back to the circle. That's good. So this time I'll find the grip right here. Pull out. We're going to give it a radius of 0 0.065, which would be 1 8 of an inch. Perfect. I like it. So now, using my selection, I'm going to grab this and select all that. Key and TR to trim. And let's trim it up. Get rid of that. This, 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 this. This, like that. Now sometimes you don't get it all. That's okay. What we'll do then is we get out of that command. Just select that, the D. Get rid of it. Get rid of that. Okay, so that eyelet looks pretty good. That's where we can put our hook, or we can put our chain, or we can put you know a lanyard or whatever we want on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the fillet command. The fillet command lets us round the corners. So I'm going to select fillet and going to stay with radius. I'm going to select, uh, let's go with radius. And on the radius, I'm going to key in 0.0625 for my radius. That's a sixteenth of an inch. And I'm going to select this guy and select that. Ah, that looks great. And select that. Now, it did it the first time, but it didn't do it the second time. Hit my space bar again. And we'll select radius. I'm going to go with 0.65. Click him, click him. Boom. So there's our P sign. Looks great. So now let's save our file. 
I'm going to call this P sign medallion. So I'm going to click on this guy, and I'm going to give it version two. Okay, enter. So looks like we made our P sign. There we go. Now let's get ready to go laser it out. <laughs>